making it to the end of the month, so that means it's time for another Blu-ray haul! And something called Black Friday happened this month, and hurt my bank account quite a bit. If you guys happen to be new to my Blu-ray haul videos, I like to make them low-key. Me being me, stuttering on my words, telling some stories, talking about the Blu-rays and criterions I got, and the Steelbook. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. So... First up, we got The Irishman on Criterion. I did an unboxing video for this. You guys can feel free to go check that out. But I have yet to watch it. I'm still very excited to check it out. Just look at that artwork. Look at that artwork, boy. Oh, my God. It looks so glorious. That paint job is freaking awesome. I opened all this whole thing over on that unboxing video. So feel free. I'll put it in the cards above. Feel free to check that guy out. Um, I'm so hyped to watch this. And on the best quality possible, come on. Come on. Um, next up, got this at Best Buy for $7.99, $19.17. Had to pick it up. I mean, um, I watched it this year. It's a 2019 movie. Kind of counted as a 2020 movie, but I had to know it's a 2019 movie. I saw it back in January when the world was good and we can go to theaters, and it was awesome. Saw 1917 back then. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, Sam Mendes, fantastic job. Maybe got snubbed for Best Director, but I think Bong Joon-ho should have won. But anyways, beside the point, um, since packaging, don't know if I'll ever rewatch it. It's kind of one I want to own for my collection because the whole one take is a spectacle, which is awesome. Next up, we got The Grinch. I just posted yesterday the most popular criticism movies I have never seen. This made it. I don't know if it's the most popular, but I made it. I'm excited to watch it. and be watching it in the next couple of days and posting a review for it. So, whew, I'm already running out of breath here. But um, The Grinch, let me know down below in the comment section because I know people who love it. I know people who absolutely hate it. What are you guys' thoughts on this? I love the original Grinch, not Jim Carrey's Grinch. Watch what I wear. That one's stupid. Ooh, ah, oh, that's it. I'm not going. Four o'clock. Walla one shelf pretty. Sorry for all those quotes right there, but um, I, it sounds like I love the movie. I can't stand Jim Carrey's Grinch, but I'm excited to check this one out. So there's that for you. Then these next couple are also part of the Christmas movie challenge I'm doing this month. I guess you can call it a challenge. We have a Christmas story, a very popular Christmas movie I have never seen. Um. I'm guessing it's a story about Christmas. I said that in my Christmas uh, video yesterday, but I love Christmas time. I love everything about it. It gets me going. I love the music. I'm going to decorate my set and Christmas stuff very, very soon. It's very awesome. Um, if you guys have seen this, comment down below. Let me know. Then we got the original Grinch. I mean, the 30-minute special. This one is the Ultimate Edition. So I heard it's the Grinch. He goes down and he just caps all the Whoville people with a bunch of candy canes. He comes out with a candy cane gun and launches it at all of them. Just kidding. That'd be awesome, though. They should make that extended version. Um, I love the original Grinch. The 25-minute special just makes you feel so good, warm and fuzzy inside. And um, the people of Whoville don't know what they got coming with the Grinch. It's really awesome. Then we have my new favorite steelbook of all time. It is the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse steelbook. That thing, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's glorious. Um, this, The Miles Morales logo is my absolute favorite. I just ordered the sweatshirt with Miles Morales on it because it's awesome. But I want that logo on a shirt, on my face, tattooed. Don't know. I absolutely love it. Fantastic steelbook. Let me know what you guys think about that steelbook. It's freaking glorious. It's the definition of sexy. You look up sexy, it's that steelbook in the dictionary. Then we got a couple. I honestly don't remember if I got these... This, I got them a while ago, but I don't know if I ever showed them to you guys, so I'll kind of go over them fast. I'm not sure if I ever I got them from the Walmart bin. I got the Purge Anarchy. I'm actually a really big fan of the Purge movies. Um, This is my favorite of the Purge movies. One of my favorite sequels of all time. Love Frank Grillo. He's amazing. Really good movie. Then we got uh, Shawshank Redemption. I know my buddy Jay Bones over at Jaron Talks Movies. He loves this movie. It's his favorite movie of all time. It's a great one. It's uh, one of the movies that you have to see at least once in your life, the Shawshank Redemption. Then we got my buddy Chris from Filmstock, his favorite movie of all time. Suicide Squad, great movie. It's actually, not a lie, it's pretty dang good. Kind of slower for how they marketed it, but still a movie I enjoy, I have a lot of fun with. Um, I'm very excited for The Suicide Squad. Maybe it's kind of a reboot or rehash that James Gunn's given us. I cannot wait for that one, but this one, hey, pretty dang good too. Then we got Mean Girls. This is hilarious. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. That's all I really want to say for that one. Then we got Sicario, Day of Soldado. The first Sicario, Deneville News. Uh, Sicario, as a snooze fest for me, this was five bucks, that's why I got it, I was like, I've seen it, why not see the sequel, 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 uh, Benicio Del Toro and Josh Brolin, Josh Brolin is really good, they teamed up at MCU and these, so that's pretty cool, they got to do that, then I got the Lego movie, the second part, again, I might have showed you guys these in a Blu-ray hunt, uh, Blu-ray haul a couple of months ago, but the second part in the Lego the Lego movie, the second part. I love the first Lego movie. I haven't seen any of the others. So I gotta check this one out. Check out the Batman one, the Ninjago one. Check all those guys out and um, have some fun with them. Everything is awesome. I know that song's not in this one. That song was cool for the first time they played it, but after that, um, 
I was losing my mind. I wanted to blow my brains out. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? It's, it's, they're driving me insane. Next up, we got these three. This unfortunate part about these guys is that they are from the um, uh, their DVDs. And they're not the full collection, but it's a bunch of Bond collections. I might just go and buy the 25 Bond films, whatever, on Blu-ray from Best Buy on uh, Amazon or whatever. Order them. These are a couple of them. You got, like, Brosnan, you got Roger Moore, and you got Sean Connery. But it doesn't have all their movies. Like, it only has three or four from each. I know some of these guys have, like, seven. So, um, I got these. are on DVD. Probably will never watch them. I might give them to my girlfriend's dad for Christmas because he loves the Bond movies. But who knows? Who knows what I'll do with those guys? Then I'll save these Criterions for last because I'll show you guys them again. Uh, Walmart, Best Buy. Best Buy. Walmart, Black Friday was fine this year. I just dropped one. It was fine this year. All the Black Friday deals this year. Let me know what you guys think the same. The Black Friday deals this year, um... Not very good, if I'm being quite honest. But we got Hobbs and Shaw for like $7.99. I have a lot of fun with Hobbs and Shaw. A lot of fun with the Fast and Furious movies. They're not good movies. Trust me. I know they're not good movies. But I have quite a bit of fun with these guys. Hobbs and Shaw is a good fun one. The The whole thing that kills me is the very end. When they have the, the battle, they say, we have 10 minutes till it's live time. Uh, 25 minutes to get these guys until the sun comes up and then their guns come back on. It's like three hours of fighting and the sun comes up. I'm like, you guys, and it's like the middle of the day. And it's morning. I was like, you guys are time telling ability. It's terrible. But hey, still a fun movie. I That's a really big nitpick for you. But um, anyways, I rest my case. Doolittle. Haven't seen it. I heard pretty awful things. But um, it's a 2020 movie. I might as well see before the end of the year. I'm, December is here and I have so much catching up to do. No lie. It's very overwhelming. If you guys feel the same, if you feel like you have to watch these movies, that's how I feel. I mean, Mank is coming out. I'm going to try to watch all the Fincher movies to do a Fincher ranking. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm going to try my best. I just feel very overwhelmed watching all these movies. And do a little. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll get there. Then we got Midway. That's how I feel about Midway. I've never seen it, but I've heard eh, eh things. Then we got a couple more Criterions here that I have not yet watched. We have the Punch Drunk Love Criterion. I want to watch this and review it because I love Adam Sandler. I heard this is his best movie. And I also love Philip Seymour Hoffman, a.k.a. Sandy Lyle from The Long Game Paul. I heard he's in this as well and it's really, really good. I've seen scenes from it. Acting looks great. Movie looks phenomenal. So, whew, I'm out of breath. I don't know why. I'm really, really excited to check out Punch Drunk Love. It's going to be freaking dope. It's going to be dope. Then we got 12 Angry Men. Um, I started watching this, but I fell asleep. And that's a bummer. I hate falling asleep to great movies. And this was really good the first 30 minutes. Then um, I fell asleep and it sucked. So I was really bad. Anyways, passing on. Then finally, we got Seven Samurai, which I'm so excited for. I believe it's a Akira Kurosawa film. Very awesome. Very cool slipcover. Or slipcover. Uh, Steelbook. It's a Criterion. Sound it out, Trevor. It's Criterion. It's really, really awesome. And I heard fantastic things. And I cannot. It's the Magnificent Seven is remade basically off of this film. So excited to check it out. I am a very uh, a virgin to the 1950s, 1940s, 1930s filmography. So I need to start diving into those. This is the last movie I got this month. 21 in total. Let me know what you guys got in the month of November for your movies. Was it a busy month? It kind of seemed to fly by let me know what you guys think of that the same thank you guys so much for watching christmas content coming up the yin yang very very soon thank you all for watching i'll see you next time peace